Now right, guys, today I have actually been driving around all over the place trying to find the perfect paint to make these marker lights look better because when you get a HG P407 it has these terrible clear markers that look terrible and I wanted some translucent orange and red paint and I found it. It looks great. I actually painted the outside of them and it only took a few seconds. And what I found is at Walmart, actually the wife found this, so I'm going to give her all the credit for it. It is Suncatcher Paint Pens. Uh, it's for painting those, it looks like stained glass, those plastic panels that have the pictures in them. So what I have is I have the orange and the red. Here's an example of the orange. I'm painting the front markers right now instead of having these horrible yellow ones. I, I just, I hate the yellow ones. Almost as much as I hate the clear ones. But, look at that. That is downright pretty, isn't it? So these will be going in once it's dry. But for now, I'm going to show you how I did these. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull the foam seal off. I like putting it back on when I'm done, just to make sure that it, it doesn't dry out. Because, uh, man, I went to a lot of stores trying to find this stuff, and I, I, I was just looking for stained glass paint. And you just want to just burp the air out of the nozzle, which I just did too much, which is fine. Keep a rag handy. And then just get the paint to the end of the nozzle and it just it changes instantly once you get it all the way across wipe it down the face now the red markers I can do with just one pass and they look fantastic Personally, I don't care if I get it on the edge of the chrome, it's just as long as it's not on the face of the chrome. Because the reflection is going to look the same anyway. And that is it. This camera is just not doing this justice though. That looks great, it is completely shiny. And I will let that dry now. The best part about this stuff is if you do happen to get it somewhere that you don't want it, it will just wipe off. So do not, do not be afraid. It's just a little tedious, but I have definitely experienced worse. And that is an orange turn signal marker. I'm going to come back and do a second coat, kind of like I did on the other side, where, uh, where it's a lot darker. Here's a quick before shot, the horrible clear lens, followed by the new amber lens, which looks really good. They both do. All right, and what you'll notice is once this paint is dry, it's still kind of grabby because it's pretty much like a rubber coating. And I found a way around that because dust will stick to it. Um, what I found is you can use some brush on clear coat, or I just borrowed my wife's clear nail polish, just wiped over it, and now it's rock hard. There it is. That looks just like a real amber marker light or turn signal. That looks so much better than that clear garbage, or even to Maya's answer, the yellow lenses, which It'll work in a pinch, but it's yellow. That looks weird. And pulling the body off. Look at that. See, I'm still not a fan of the yellow corner lights. Let me know what y'all think. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not really feeling that. I may put the clear ones back on or go with amber. But look at that. That just has a deep shine. Very nice. I'm going to keep the yellow lenses on the KC though. I have the chrome covers that look like uh, the cages that go over them coming in. And here's the red marker on the rear. It looks really good. The truck's very dusty. My apologies. And front amber marker which has two coats. 
of the orange paint. Both of them do. And the other red one. Camera's just not picking up the deep shine on here, but they're very shiny. Anyway, let me know what you think. Go check out Walmart for the Suncatcher paint pens. You're really only going to need the red and the orange, but heck, if you got kids, they'll enjoy playing with this. And I didn't really use any of the paint. I mean, there's nothing missing out of there, so I believe this was like four bucks in the craft department, so go check it out. Alright guys, that's it for now. Give me a like if you liked the video. Stay tuned for more. In the next video, I'm going to be putting new wheels and tires on this truck. I actually have new Tamiya wheels, and then I have new tires down here that are going on there to replace the horrible ag tires. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.